So now we're going to load our quilt top onto our top fabric zipper. I'm going to set this zipper aside for a moment. Now on our quilt top, you also mark your center mark at the top of the quilt and your center mark at the bottom of the quilt. Snip that real fast. And I also snip, when I do this, I snip my quilt top. It's just a very small little snip. And the nice thing about this is that will be hidden inside your binding. And you don't lose that little mark like you would if you stick a pin in there. Now I talked about if you have a directional quilt. And the quilt that I am working on today is just this little baby wall hanging. It's for my daycare. And it is very directional. So I have to make sure when I load the zipper onto this quilt that I put the zipper at the bottom of this quilt. So I lay it out so I can see the quilt. It's pretty side up. I'm going to grab my zipper and my zipper says top fabric bottom left side. It is really important that this goes to the bottom of the quilt. It does not tell you to put the quilt right side up. That's pretty much a given since we want to see the pretty side of our quilt when we quilt it. So this goes, find my center mark, okay, there is my center mark, and here is my center mark on my quilt, and just like we did on the quilt back, we center that, and I put a pin in it. Now, I am not coordinated enough to pin this entire thing like that. It's upside down to me. So now once I've got it centered and I know that this is my bottom left side, I'm going to actually turn the whole thing over and for convenience. And I'm going to leave the tape running while I'm pinning because this is a very small wall hanging. It's less than 30 inches wide. And so we're just going to do a real, real quick pin. Stick the pins in my mouth, because I can do that, because I'm at home. And one more on the end. One more time over here to the machine. Right. My poor gimpy daughter trying to film for us. All right. And the edge of the foot against the raw edge of the teeth the raw edge of the fabric against the raw edge of the teeth. Now everything's lined up. And away we stitch. And you can see I do this very fast. Now I'm ready to take this to the shop and I'm ready to quilt this quilt. I will be going in and filming videos on how to load your quilt onto the frame. So look for those in the next day or so. Thanks for stopping by.